Hello everybody and welcome back to Survivor Challenge. Oh, you just can't beat this fantastic view whilst eating a delicious apple. <laughs> oh, I hate hay fever. My apple. Okay, right, so here we are in the field. Uh, it does say it needs to be rolled. This is our brand new field of wheat. I do still have a section down here which needs to be ploughed and drilled. Um, so I think it's a good idea to do this today. But I did have uh, other suggestions of things to do, so thanks to everybody for that. The rolling was one of them. I think with the rolling, um, it's going to come down to if I can find something on ModHub, because chances are the ones which are in the basic map. I think there's only two. Uh, they are a little bit on the expensive side, and on the big side. Yes, yeah, so the cheapest one is 41,000, which we already knew from other Let's Plays. Um, and we, we obviously could get it cheaper in a sale, but even so, it requires 160 horsepower. It's pretty big, and it's just not what we're really looking for. After doing some research, I have found one. Uh, well, actually, I found loads, but this is the only one which is actually in our price range, and it looks good. It looks like a grass roller, but it does say that it can do fields after drilling. So I think we'll probably just do a custom color and stuff, and we'll buy this. It looks really good. I don't think we need any accessories. Just keep it nice and simple and cheap. Um, so yeah, maybe I could buy now just to lock in the price, although <laughs> it's not really going to change. Um, Still, worth getting now. So, I'm going to do that first of all, uh, the ploughing and the drilling, and then we can hopefully just roll everything. Well, I'll have to roll it over maybe two episodes. Uh, so, into the John Deere tractor first of all. I've noticed that uh, although the price is supposed to be pretty bad for the uh, tomatoes, it's actually not that bad today. So if we're desperate for money, we could go and sell the tomatoes. Okay, we have the plough, so I don't think we can actually fit a front linkage to this tractor, which is a bit of a shame, although I might be wrong, it might just be me not looking properly, but it would have been good because one of the options would be to have a front packer, uh, which in this game would certainly act as a, a roller. I, I think it is in real life too. I think it's to press down the uh, seedbed, get rid of any stones and stuff, um, and then we wouldn't have to do it, we could just do it all in one pass. So we could essentially roll on the front of the tractor and then drill on the back getting all done in one go which is what I like to see but yeah unless I can get a front linkage um, we're not going to be able to do it with this tractor but as I said I might be wrong maybe a front linkage is an option anyway first things first let's just get this done uh, it's going to be a little bit tricky when we get over to that side actually I'll go over there now um, because, uh, yes, obviously I don't want to be ploughing up the existing crop that we've already put in. But, thankfully, we've done the majority of the work in the previous episode. Lots and lots of ploughing. Although it might look a little bit messy, I'm quite tempted to leave a gap. Just because I don't want... I suppose we could leave a gap with the seed drill. Yes, it would look very messy if I left a gap with this. Yeah, I don't want the crops merging. It will definitely confuse the combine harvester. It suddenly, uh, in the middle of harvesting uh, wheat, suddenly encounters a completely different crop. What's going on here? Confusing a combine. Um, although, actually, I think... Oh, somebody mentioned to me. I think somebody said soybeans were a good option. And somebody said oats. We can do both of those, I think. I'm pretty sure we can do both. Obviously not at the same time. The option is there, though. I think it would be worth doing soybeans next time. We'll probably cover the whole field. Just do a massive field of soybeans. So anyway, yeah. We're getting on okay. I will see when the field has been ploughed.
Okay, I think it's time for one of my plan changes. I have them in every episode. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to find a better way of doing everything. And I've established that we probably shouldn't put this crop in right now. It will still be put in this episode, just not in this day. Um, the reason why is because as soon as we sleep, the crop which is in will germinate. And then it might be too late to roll. So I think it's going to be best to go and get the roller. Roll all of that area. Then rest, move on to August. And then we can drill this tomorrow and then roll it all in the same day. But that is the ploughing done. For a long time too actually. We don't need to do any ploughing for quite some time. So I'm just going to pop it over here. We are indeed still saving up for buildings, farm sheds. And I, I still can't really imagine what this is going to look like when we're on episode 100. But it won't look anything like this. Uh, the greenhouse will probably still be there, but that's all. Everything will have just transformed. I'm going to have to do quite a bit of uh, terrain levelling. But that will be in the future. Anyway, let's get over there and we'll pick up the roller. Oh, of course, my trailer's still here too. Well, it can stay here, I think, until we are ready to take it back. And I suppose as we're here, I will just check and see if we can fit a front linkage. I'm pretty sure we can't. Configuration. No. Don't think so. So, um, that's fine. Because we will be getting another tractor in the future. And that can be the tractor which we have the front linkage on. And look at that. I think it's a 4 meter working width. Pretty good. I think it weighs about 750 kilograms. Trying to drive into any cars. Yeah, I don't know what speed we can do with that. We'll have to see. But we should be able to get it done pretty quickly. It's nice to have the 4 meter working width. Right, so we should see a texture change. It already looks very neat. Yeah, you can. Obviously, we shouldn't be using this smooth roller. And 10 miles per hour seems to be the speed we can do that. Very nice. Yeah, see, I'm going to struggle to uh, see where we haven't have been. It will also need to be fertilised. We do have the fertiliser spreader just next to Virtual Dagwin's hut. Just over there, the orange piece of equipment. But that doesn't need to be done today. It's not desperate. It, it's not essential that it's done before it germinates. Just as long as we do do two applications. Brilliant. So yeah, I have absolutely no idea how long this will take, but I'm just going to keep going until it's done. We should be able to see this on this map here. Um... Of course, because it was already grass. We do have an application. And yep, yeah, needs to be rolled. That piece has now been rolled. I can just about make out where we have and haven't been. Good enough anyway. It would be a bit of overlap. But hopefully, by the end of this next time lapse, all of that blue, maybe with the exception of a bit of peppering here and there, uh, will have disappeared. We're getting there. I've just gone across that far side, as you can see, um, because it will let me roll the ploughing which we've just done, but I really don't want to do that because it will change the texture and I won't actually know where I have and haven't been with the drill. So that's not going to be good. Uh, we need to still put the crop into there, so I'll drill it and then I'll roll it. No point doing the rolling first. 
But I think overall I have managed to get every bit. I don't think there's any substantial missed bits. In fact, I don't think there's any missed bits at all. But uh, it is surprising how easy it is to miss bits. Our final bit. And yeah, I think this does also do grass. So this will uh, roll the grass and that will increase the yield for that as well. So, wow. <laughs> it's amazing. It just doesn't look like I've missed anything at all. I think it is pretty insignificant, the areas which have been missed. It's definitely good. It's like the odd spec. Okay, right, well, what we'll do is we'll take this back over to the farm. And we'll take it off. I can put the drill on ready for tomorrow. And then we're going to rest. The price for the tomatoes will decrease overnight. But that's fine. I don't think we're in any desperate rush to actually sell the tomatoes. Uh, so we'll wait until the price is really good. Which is sort of, if I remember correctly, about January time. December, January. So it's a bit of a wait, but it's not. Oh, that's a wait too, which I almost crashed into. Yeah, but it's not a big problem. We will probably have to do water though. I've not given the greenhouse water for quite some time. Once we've got this field out of the way, we'll have more time to do that sort of thing, along with the fertilising. Okay, so we've got 19% seed left in here. I've got some seed bags over near the tent. We'll get it refilled. Switch the engine off. There we go, that's full. And we'll go to bed. Hopefully uh, Virtual Dagwin doesn't wake us up. Good morning, everybody. It's a beautiful day. As suspected, the crop has germinated. 33% fertilizer. Yes, that'll vary. There is a strip here which has got nothing at all. But the vast majority of the field does have the first application on, so um, yeah, that's going to be uh, a big help. Anyway, we must head over here where you can see there's nothing at all. Now, it's very easy to distinguish where we have and haven't been. I guess we could have uh, we could have rolled it as we were waiting, but it's just not worth it. We might as well just wait. So it's still set to wheat. Uh, we've got oats, soybeans. Yeah, we can do any of these different crops. But this time it's going to be oats, and then hopefully next time it's going to be a whole field of soybeans. I want to have a gap, but I don't want to have a huge gap. It's just a waste of land. So that should be okay. You can see a bit of a chunk missing there, it's weird. And now it's germinated, it actually looks like a smaller field. But we're going to have plenty of time to get the fertilizer on. Um, yeah, it's, it's definitely not a, a concern not going to be a mad rush. Just as long as I do get it on. I don't just forget about it and do something else, which I won't do. If it was another series, like my main series, I probably would forget because there's so much going on. But with this series, it's yeah, all the focus is on this field. So it's pretty simple. Anyway, let's, as usual, crack on. We'll get this done. And then we can roll it. almost there and yeah both of these two crops wheat and oats are going to produce straw unless we chop it 
but that'd be a bit of a waste I think uh, we, well we could actually put the mod on which allows you to uh, chop the straw and then you get fertilizer instead which is not a bad idea however I think maybe for this harvest uh, it would be better to have the straw so we can produce some bales we have the front loader so that's fine we kind of have a trailer it's not a very big trailer but yes it will move bales um, and we don't have a baler and the baler obviously is going to be a bit of an expense we should be able to afford one I'm hoping an old one probably a round baler unless it was a conventional baler but I really don't fancy picking up I don't know 200 bales <laughs> by hand yes that will get a bit boring I think yeah we'll definitely stick with an older round baler should be good we could also use a forage wagon but again I think I prefer to do bales and then maybe in the future we can uh, get the chopped straw mod and we can uh, get another application of fertilizer instead if we don't need the extra money it's quite a lot of crates of tomatoes though anyway let's head down to the uh, lake we'll fill this up I'm not too sure how much it actually requires, but I think it does take several of these. And it's only about 25% full, so we might have to do a few. Luckily, because I've done that cut-through road, it's not far to go. But we can't just cut straight across the lake because there's a huge cliff. But it's still not too bad. We'll probably just have to invest in a bigger tanker, but then uh, to get it up that hill, we'll need to invest in a bigger tractor as well. Although that would be coming anyway. <laughs> We're not going to be sticking with uh, just the one 100 horsepower tractor for the whole series. It would be nice to think that eventually we'll have 300 horsepower, maybe four. Five is probably pushing it. Okay, so I'll check once I have emptied this one. Check and see how full it is. Rapid unload. Um, so it's going to be in productions. Looking pretty good actually. Must have been about here before. Uh, so yeah, I think probably do two more loads and that'll be all good. Probably won't time lapse it. I'll just do a few jump cuts. But yeah, this cut through road. That uh, was a, a good idea. Looks like a really good open expanse of land over here. So eventually when we get on to buying the next plot, that might be a good area to go for. I'm probably getting a bit ahead of myself there. Anyway, this will have given it a nice boost. I doubt it's full. But if we just do one tanker load every now and then, it will soon be full. It would be much easier, at least it would feel much easier, than going backwards and forwards continuously. Okay, yeah, so... We're getting there. Now for the rolling. I think we'll start tomorrow's episode with the fertilising and for the majority of the field that will actually conclude the fertilising there's just going to be one strip which we'll need to have a, a second application in the future and yeah this yard is getting a bit messy it does need to be sorted out it's because there's no sheds there's nowhere to really put stuff so uh, yeah I do need to get a shed pretty quickly the modder Lancy Boy has produced some fantastic sheds and buildings for this game and uh, yeah I'd love to get them into the into this series if we can do I just need to get the money really that is the only thing we just need to get the money and then we can start building right try and stick to the edges as soon as this germinates tomorrow there's going to be a very distinctive gap between the two crops and I think it's good doing it this way because it means they're not going to be ready together so hopefully when we harvest the wheat, the oats won't be ripe, and it'd be so obvious. Really obvious gap between the two. Okay, looks good. Not that I can really see it.
Okay. Let's just get that into the right gear. Just finishing off. Dusty. And there we go. We are done. This tractor's been getting through the fuel. We do need to go and retrieve our trailer, so if there is a a diesel pump up there somewhere, I could refuel. Pop this over here. We do own all this grassland. I need to do something with it. Okay, so, um, yeah, I don't actually know where the diesel tank is, but it must be up here. There it is. That's the one. I'm wearing that track out, going backwards and forwards over it with the tanker. Pop this on the back, first of all. And then where do we go to? Just over here. One of them is a methane pump. I suppose I just pull up here, switch the engine off. And there we go. They take the money and we get the fuel. Lovely. Only £106 as well. They must have good prices here. Gasolino. I will remember the name, we will return. Not that I have a choice. <laughs> ah, the long sweeping track. It's a beautiful approach to our forest and our farm. And we return to the farm. Yes, Virtual Dagwin is taking up some space. Not a huge amount. Not enough to keep him out of my introductions. <laughs> That's for sure. He'll have to stay for that. Um, okay, right, so I just need to put this somewhere. Spin round this tree stump. And we'll just go over here. So, we will leave this episode here. As I said, next time we'll be doing some fertilizer spreading. Uh, but it should give us some time to do some other stuff as well, because that is the field done. It's all growing. So, well, if we have the money, this grass is an idea. It's currently just a waste of land, so uh, we'll see. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode, and until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.